Right folks, so we are on video number two and we're going to start off by removing the catalytic converter. So that means all this heat shield in here has to come off, which in turn means this uh, oxy top oxygen sensor needs to come out. Um, 22 millimeter spanner required. I've already cracked it. They are quite tight. So usually, so that is that cracked. Uh, black multi-plug at the back, uh, just down the back of the cylinder head that you'll need to remove to be able to take, well you don't need to remove it but it is best to, so yeah just wind that all the way out, like a so, so that is that oxygen sensor out. Next up, I, what I would also suggest is the bottom oxygen sensor. Just unplug that from the multi-plug at the back, so then at least when you drop the cat, it can go lower so you can get the sump out of the way, because otherwise you'll struggle, you'll end up fouling up against it, uh, and then need to battle it, because I found that out on the last one uh, I did, when you're trying to manoeuvre the cat out. So next up, there are three 10mm bolts lower down. One down here, one down on this side and one right down at the bottom um, to then get this heat shield off. So I'll go and undo those. And then we will be in a position to theoretically remove the heat shield. And for anyone who is watching, it is the law to rev a electric tool whenever you grab it out of the drawer. It is, it is the law, you must do it. So if you do not, there is, uh, you are actually breaking the law and should be sent straight to prison. Straight to prison. Right. These are very crusty. So let us hope that we can get them without too much of a fight. That's one cracked. Josh isn't here currently, he's over on his driveway across the road, um, working on his partner's Citroen C1, uh, getting that in a position to do some uh, MOT repairs on. So that is one bolt out of the way. Right, next up is the very difficult to access one around the side. The Focus, got nice, a lot more room on it. Fiesta, quite tight. Right, so what I'll do is I'll bring you across. So uh, you can see, uh, I'll try and get you to be able to see where we're going. So, unfortunately, I don't think you can. Oh, yeah, you can just through the gap between those pipes, you can just see a little ball. That is what we're having to go for. And then the other one is, uh, you can't see that one. I'll try and show you that one from underneath. But yeah, so you know where we're going with it. see what we can do. This is lovely. Nice and strong. Oh, 
try it twat. That's going to be uh, fun to battle, I shall say, folks, because that is in a very, very awkward spot. Oh, oh, I think I just managed to crack it. Oh, yes, I did. Right. Trusty 10 mil snap on spanner. Next up. We'll grab the 10 mil ratchet spanner to get that out. In fact, <clears throat> I should. Now it's cracked. Oh, split my finger. Nice. That's common. You're a bit squeamish for blood. This is not the occupation for you. Because you will split your finger open a ridiculous amount of times a day. Ow. Come on. I can't get it to it. All right. I'm going to cut out a minute, guys, just so I can go get a rag to wipe this up. Um, but I'll cut back in shortly and carry on with that. Right, everybody, I am back, and this torch has died. So, I'll grab a different one. Always ideal. And it's always in the most in inconvenient time is when a torch dies, you will find. It's not a very nice place for them to put this ball. That being said. Wanting out. So next up, we'll go to the vert. Well, I'll show you where it is, and then bring you back up to the top, just while I uh, get that ten out. <laughs> so it is just there. So that's the next one I'm getting, and then there'll be then two bolts of nuts there to remove, a couple there, and then. Uh, at the top, but I'll show you these when we come down here to drop the cap. So, yeah, we'll move back up to the top where you can see not a lot while I take that bolt out. So, that is that bolt out. <clears throat> And that is the heat shield completely loosened. So now it's going to be the fun and games of getting out. And that is out. So that's one heat shield out. So now, what we've got to contend with is, coming up close, you see these 313, what, 313, sorry, 413s um, on here. There's some interesting yellow paint on top of the cap for some reason. I'm not, not too sure why that's there. But yeah, there's 413 mil nuts. Oh, sorry guys, blinding you. Blinding. Yeah, 13 mil nuts on there. And what happens is these have a tendency to, the, like, no matter how how much you try not to, to avoid it, they'll catch against the actual thread and then pull the threads through there and then 
the it ends up pulling threads through the turbo itself so you may end up having to use a tap and die set thread chaser or something like that to um clean them up or and get possibly new threads and new nuts all that sort of thing so yeah we'll just see how successful we are with them uh yeah so yeah that's where we're, where we're at now What were you meant to order, mate? Right, now. folks. I'm back in. Uh, unfortunately, I had a bit of an issue with me my iPhone storage. So, you didn't actually see any a lot of that. Um, so far, I have two nuts and one thread with nut out of the cat at the top. Um, so, I'm semi-successful. This one at the top, if you're looking at it from the near side, at the top right is being an absolute arsehole and battling me every which way so that is going to be the fun one the um yeah the, the you end up you do end, usually end up with one but ends up being an absolute bastard and fights you so we're going to see what we can do Very common, uh, and I will iterate that every time. It is the very common thing to happen on these. But look at the state of that. Yeah, it's just pulled all the threads, so uh, we're going to have to remove that uh, and put a new stud in. But that's what we'll do cut towards the back end of the job. So, yeah, all fun and games, guys. All right, let's carry on. So, next up, there's a 10mm down there and a 10mm down there that you need to remove because they hold the heat shield on that's behind the cat so i'll get them off next too long Oops, that's one on the floor. Two. Put that out. <clears throat> Retrieved. So yeah, now what I recommend doing is put them in put these all in your organizers just so you know exactly where they are. So two for the uh back bit. Three, three, and two. So that's that. And now there is one ten mil bolt down there to get at. But that'll be a case of once the uh, ABS pumps off, he'll battle that one. So next up, what we're going to be removing is the two tens on this boosters here. <laughs> and then down here there's a 10 mil on the engine mill engine lifting eye bracket that is the center sort of like support bracket for this boost hose and then down at the bottom there's a jubilee clip which is a seven mil uh seven mil head 
our flat bladed screwdriver, whichever you prefer. So we'll take that off as well. I'll go, pop down and uh, find that and take that off. See where we're looking, see where we're looking. <coughs> right there so hey up i'm blurring you i don't know how i did that but it is not ideal so yeah you can see it there seven mil socket hey up not bad here mate she's off where was that uh the chisel and punch drum it What is this in the big drawer I see? What I was looking for earlier. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Oh, I never found it. Um, that weren't too bad, was there? No. Yeah. Good bit of experience for you, mate. Yeah. Oh, uh, what else was... Oh, there was, like, the likes of the other bits, but the, like, the uh, indicator stock, I'll go through that with you, because... Oh. Okay, mate. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, next up, guys, is we're gonna get Josh involved. Yay! Yeah, you you can. Uh, the up there, you can see one there, one there. T thirty. So can you grab us a T thirty? Long extension and a uh, little impact that's in my hand. Elsa. Yeah, you can grab that long extension. He's got his uses as Joshy boy, hasn't he? Cheers, mate. Do you want to grab your mic, your Michael phone? Michael. Michael phone. Right, Michael. And as you saw there, one thing you do have to do while working underneath cars is, yeah, close your eyes, because shit will rain from above. Hey, up. She looks like she's not... Wanting... Testing, testing, one, two, one, two. Come in, Michael. Has the Michael phone picked up? Ah, oh, I don't know. Hopefully. Oh, oh, them two. So that is that cover off there. And then that means we can get this boost hose wiggled off. And now we can go back up to the top. I've rejigged the saying. What you said? If at first you don't succeed, hit it with a bigger hammer. Go on. Well, if you haven't got a bigger hammer, just hit it harder with the hammer you've got. Yeah, but you could have always come across here and got a bigger.
What we've just removed is the poly V belt cover. Like it's, there's a plastic cover that goes over the poly V belts on these uh, Fiesta ones. Um, just to, add, I'll be honest, I ain't got a clue why, because it doesn't actually serve a purpose, apart from just probably deflecting debris from going hit, hitting it, which I don't see why you'd need. But yeah, um, so. You have to remove that. It's three eight mils uh, scattered around the uh, cover. Right then. Uh, da, da, da. Let's put that there. So then this torch ain't got one left in it either, Josh. Ah, there we go. And then we have a plastic cover. I didn't char charge any of them last night. Probably a bit Bad of a mistake, job. but hey ho, spaghettio. Uh, next up, what I'm going to do is the water pump is at the top, right, right there, right there. I'm going to take off the three tens there, and then that will slacken off the. Uh, but well it'll slacken off the poly v belt actually is what it will do uh, i'll try and find a decent position for you to sit in if i can can you see just so one two bob them there a second and here's where it goes ping It's not going to ping yet, but it will in a second. Just you wait and see. Maybe not. <laughs> Where's that little bar gone? It'll definitely go ping in a second. Behind you. <clears throat> Behind you. Is the ready? Ping. Okay. Hold you. That is that because we'll need that off anyway. So, water pump pulley, 310 mil volts. Hold that on. Bob, that down there. And now, because of that, you actually can get the poly V belt out. You just Wiggle her off, wiggle her off, wiggle her off. Poly V belt out. So that is that. So now we're we're we'll get into quite a comfortable position, everyone, I believe. I feel like we're at a comfortable position. Uh what we at at the minute? Ooh, Twenty-two minutes. Away. Now we are at the bottom. So Oops, here. I have a you sense. know what you need. What? <laughs> An actual battery that's got some charge in it? No. Nope. No, you don't. <clears throat> I don't need one of those pieces. You do. Of shit it is do bloody I? good. I don't need one of those crappy. Well, do I? You bloody well do, Matt. I bloody well do, Josh. Right, let me just... Okay. What is that? Just move that out of the way. Uh... Oh, your beard looks really shiny. Does it? Yeah. The light's shining through it. it looks lovely. It's also probably damp because of all the moisture in the air because of how cold it is. I know I said it earlier and that <coughs> took my hat off and I was absolutely ringing. 
It's right. a good bloody good at this match. Is it? I must say thank you once again. You are most welcome, my friend. You know how much I like things at high vis. I do. I do. That's why I got you it. Bloody yeah. Caterpillar as well. It is. It's a snazzy one. But it would fit the biggest melon you've ever seen. <laughs> exactly. I think we've got both you getting it. We could use it as a sleeping bag if we needed to. <laughs> right. <laughs> that could do. Go on. I could cut two holes in it. <laughs> and where it is it? I actually could look. Watch. Balaclava. <laughs> Oh no, now I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, cheers, man. <mate. laughs> nice one. You're most welcome. Have right. to keep your dignity. Anyway, <laughs> which you have none of. I need to try and find another organiser. There should be some under there. Where? Oh, 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 I see one. It's on top. Sir, there is a 10 mil behind there. A Daddy 10 mil up there and a 10 mil around here. Somewhere. Tell you what I have been watching as well. Go on. The old mighty car mods. Real Jesus. That is that's been a blast from the past. I've really enjoyed this last bit little thing they've done. Yeah. They're making the fast little K truck that they can make. But do you know normally when you watch these sort of things and everything goes smoothly and and you know it's not 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 accurate in any way shape. Well, I don't know. I quite like them too. To be fair. But yeah. everything always goes smooth, and they've got a lovely workshop, and all the gear, and all that jazz, and 15... we're, and we're messing around out on the bloody drive. Fifty million litres of Castrol on that bench. Yeah, we've got the short extension, Matt. How short do you want? Just there? the three inch one. It should be somewhere around on top. But yeah, everything always goes so well for these folks. Is it not on the front here? Yes. I'm going to say I thought I thought but, it was in there. Matchy, go on. It hadn't gone swimmingly. No? No. Things kept going wrong. Jesus. And I think that's why I enjoyed it. So something went wrong, and then they had to look for something else and something else. And yeah, it was just a really interesting, in-depth, enough to be interesting video. As in-depth as we are with our videos, Josh. Meh. Because we I are... I mean, they're nearly at our standard. <sighs> They'll get there, you know, a bit they of time. Do. Yeah. A bit of time. Marty and Moog. Jesus bit of time, Christ boys. You'll you'll be you'll be up there with with the likes of me and Match at M and J Automotive. M and J Automotive. But no, I used to watch them when I was like younger. We a wee whipper snapper. Can you pass you know me through the Carlos Raptor? Oh, yeah. Do you know why I used to watch them? Why? Because I always used to do realistic stuff when I was a kid, like installing speakers and. Back in the day, yeah. How to modify your car, buy your car for like 25 quid and still, well, not quite, but you know what I mean? Yeah. Yarp. Hot fuzz. Hot fuzz. I tried finding that on the streaming services last night, Josh. Legal streaming services. Legal streaming services, and it's not on any of them. I was deeply disappointed. <sighs> it was on Netflix. It was, I know it was, because I remember seeing it on Netflix, but no, it's not there anymore, mate. Damn, Daniel. I found a Guy Martin DVD the other day. Which one? I don't know. Close to the Edge, I think it was. Close to the Edge? Yeah. It's an old one, isn't it, that one? He's another one. Absolute fanboy, Guy Martin. I oh, like Guy man. Martin. He used to be a truck mechanic, you know. I think he still is a truck mechanic. Yeah, he is, yeah. That's his, that's his job. Yeah. Don't say cool. otherwise. That's very tight. It's battling every step of the way, is that one, Josh? Your batteries. Oh, no. That's your light no. flashing. If you could spend a week with anybody, not a family member, but anybody sort of past and present, you could spend a week with them doing what they do, who would you do it with? I have no idea, mate. There's so I many people. I obviously think about stuff too much. Yeah, there's so many people. There's one more. No, there's, there's two. One past and one present. Go on. Guy Martin. Yep. Fred Dibner. Right. What a man he was. Is he the one that was um used Stoofle to climb Jack. the... Uh... Yeah, it was a Stoofle Jack. He used to climb the chimney. Yeah, I thought it was him. Yeah, he was a different gravy, that man. Brave, brave man.
Guys, mate, do you want to go stick that on charge? Or one of them on charge or something? Because we need some something somewhere. I'd love to if I could get in. No, you're not allowed. It's like bloody crystal maze. I'm trying to get in this garage. Crystal maze wishes. <clears throat> Right, so, the third ten that is up here. Out, 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 like so. There you go, Josh. Did what? Sorry, Matt. No, you mention it. Right, where's that pry bar? I need to get that. Yeah, is it up there somewhere? Yeah. Yeah, what? Damn it, just so I can get. You know, man. I think that it should be unbolted. It what is it? The uh, aircon compressor. Poly V belts off. Uh, yeah, poly V belts off. It is. Uh, it's uh, just it's seized on. Jesus Christ, that's tight. Titus Bramble. I think he was a footballer. Who? Titus Bramble. I never heard of him, mate. But I don't support any football team because. I'm going to say something extremely controversial. Don't do it. Oh, why? Just, just bite your tongue, mate. Oh, okay, well, football shit. I didn't say it, Josh. He wasn't all. <clears throat> Titus Bramble, there he is. What earth was that? Open bang map in a one litre course. No, that one litre car didn't run. No, again. Still playing, apparently. Still playing for Stowe Market Town FC. <laughs> He's playing for who? Stowe Market. Never heard of them. Go on, son. Right, so that is that 10 mil ball that's behind the cat. So next up, we're going to take those 13s off. Grab us a 13 socket, please, Josh. There should be a half-inch one somewhere around. I think it's over there. All right, I got it. I'll give you this bolt, though. Is it? One. These are... These are 13 mil. Uh, give you them, too. I haven't got it. <laughs> I thought you had it. Just... No. And then... You've this... got another one? Yeah. Just a nut. Alright. One has the thread. Are one, they going it? in the same as the last one or new one? A uh, new one, mate. And that out of the way. And now we are going to the top. And we should be actually finishing up this video. Right. Hello. You saw him briefly, folks. You saw him briefly. You've squashed the torch under the tripod. And now, that is a boot. Hold that, please, mate. With pleasure, dear. Had some ammo on it tonight, that little pry bar. That little pry barney. It's a good little pry bar as well to say. It's a bloody good pry bar. To say it is from US Pro. They are a very good to be fair, brand. I rate their stuff for what I do. I don't even think I own any of it. But your sockets, if, uh, your, your um, impact sockets, aren't they yours, bro? No. Are they not? Worse. Worse? How? Blue spot. Blue spot. Oh, God. Not blue point. No, Let's not blue point. Blue spot. Blue spot. The hey. trusty brand from do the job. Boys. Yeah, or Dixon's Discount Warehouse in Fire Legends. Oh, there she flies. There we go. The cat is off. So now, in fact, we'll try and get that out and show you how... How easy it is. Watch this. Unsuccessful. Watch this. Ooh, Matty's going to do this. One bang. No messing. A little baby talks on there. Grab the, grab the right one first time, mate. Yeah, you probably do this like daily, though. Not quite daily. Every other, maybe. 
Yeah, no, that's not very successful. <laughs> there, that, there's one unsuccessful point, so we'll just snap the end off that. So, as I was saying, we're going to be taking the gasket off, cutting the threads, and then drilling through and retapping the hole, which we'll do as a separate video, all on its own, as a nice special one. So, yeah. Right, guys. Um, what a that's... fantastic design. Yeah, what um, the ridiculous, mate. They all do it. But, yeah. Anyway, what we're, we're going to say, thank you for watching tonight's video. Um, this one's going to be part two of the EcoBoost saga. Yeah. Like it. I like it as well. That's oh, quite, quite a good name. That's going to be the name. Yeah. EcoBoost Eco saga. EcoBoost saga. So that's episode two, which is going to be the cat removal. We've done episode one is going to be the, is the removal of the rocker cover, which is going to be a previous video to this one. So it'll show you the re removal of that, to how how to do it, what you need, what you'll need to take off to get to it. Tonight's removal of the cat, so you know exactly what you need to take off to get the cat to this position. Um, and then I'll work out what we're going to do tomorrow, tomorrow night. <laughs> Not done bad, to be fair. What, no. was, what what time did you start? Well, after we, after I blabbed for forty five yeah, minutes. Yeah, about quarter to eight. Quarter to eight. What time so... is it now? An hour. About an hour. About. What, 50 minutes, 55 minutes to get to this point. So, yeah, we're doing all right. Steady away, guys. Uh, we're in no rush to do it. We're just doing it to give you guys the insight on how to do this process. So, yeah, um, thank you for watching this video. Uh, please hit that thumbs up. Drop us a like. Drop us a subscribe. That would be massively appreciated because we want to see how far we can grow this channel, how much we can develop it, how good we can get doing this uh that'd be good what thousand by summer i thought yeah a thousand, thousand subscribers a thousand by summer. subscribers by summer would be very nice and then you can, have a, clock, in... then you can have a clock or a hoodie yeah a hoodie in summer yeah <laughs> <laughs> valid point there, yeah? yeah very but, valid point but yeah anyway um yeah a thousand subscribers by summer is the goal um yeah we'll see if we can hit it uh if we can do what we've been doing We'll smash it. We always do. Oh, you know. Yeah, we, you know. But yeah, we'll try it. <laughs> These nuts. <laughs> These nuts. But yeah, we'll try to see what we can do. Uh, try and develop this channel as much as we can. Uh, give you guys as much insight as possible. At the minute, we, as you can see, we're still fucking about on the drive. Is the only way we can put it. But there always is plans and hope that we can get a unit. Even if we start small and develop from there. But yeah, we're gonna buy a build your own two car garage and put it on the park near us. <laughs> yeah, why not? Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching, guys, and um, catch us in the next exciting, exciting installment of the EcoBoost saga. What the hell? You've watched too much YouTube. You I have. I spend too much that time. That sounded on the almost tube. professional. Sir, so we will see you guys soon. Like and subscribe.